Welcome to Summit Boss Hoss. Uh, here we build everything that will have a V8 in it. We build V8 motorcycles, um, V8 bar stools. You want a V8 chainsaw, we'll build you that. Uh, we wanted to show you our latest creation. And my name is Mike Kelly. I'm Tony Sanders. And I'm Billy Ruggiero. And the team here at Summit has put together our latest creation. It's a 57 Chevy golf cart. And we like to think it's the world's fastest golf cart, and we're going to show you why. And there's probably some of you right now saying, why? I don't get it. Who wants a golf cart with 400 horsepower? And if you're sitting there right now asking yourself that, you probably drive a Prius, and you own a Poodle, and you can shut this off now. But for the rest of you that get this and dig horsepower and want to do long, smoky burnouts, we're going to show you around. Basically, what we did is we built our own chassis and we took a standard 57 Chevy golf cart body. Bill here cut it right down the middle. He widened it 10 inches and we made it fit on our own fabricated frame that Tony built from scratch, ground up. It has a Mustang II independent front suspension. It has a nine inch Ford rear end. It has a three link chassis. It's got a 411 gear. Uh, at 350 Chevy, makes about 400 horsepower, automatic transmission, everything that you see was completely fabricated here. We didn't buy anything from anybody else. Uh, everything was made here, from the floor to the seat to the roll bar, the exhaust, everything made right here in our shop. Right now, we're going to flip the nose on this thing. Uh, Tony built a flip nose for it. And we're going to actually show you the engine, show you what it's all about, show you how it's plumbed. We'll show you how it's wired. Show you the radiator. It's, uh, it's pretty cool how this all works. Very simple operation. Nose flips forward. It's very simple to work on. Very simple to access. Again, it's a 400 horsepower 350 Chevy. It's got a monster radiator, a Saldana radiator, built us a custom radiator just for this. Runs 160 degrees all the time, runs all day, uh, very dependable, very drivable. We're going to show you that in a few minutes. Another thing we had to do here to make it cool is we, all, when we said Mustang 2 front end, what it is, it's a Mustang 2 tubular front end. It's all lightweight, rear easily done, uh, if you notice. The wiring, this is basically the heart of the whole wiring harness. It's just relays. We don't have fuses in the system. We run everything off of relays. If you notice, the exhaust is completely one off. I mean, you don't really see an exhaust like that, but we had to do it because of clearances and rooms. The alternator, you can notice we're running a 100 out mini alternator, which it doesn't attach to the motor. It actually attaches to the frame bolted to the frame because the motor in here is solid mounted. You've got the water pump runs directly off of it. So we're only running two belts. Everything's all loomed in. Very easy to get to, very simple, very clean. If, if you look closely, you'll see that every part on this has got a finish on it. Whether it's painted or undercoated, uh, builded all that. Bill made the grill for this, made a lot of pieces actually fabricated all these body lines in. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna let Bill tell you a little bit about how much body work he had to do and how much fabrication was involved in actually making this body work to fit on this chassis and to, uh, to look as nice as it does. We started with a traditional golf cart body, 57 Chevy obviously, uh, but we needed to uh, have it fit our chassis, so I cut this body directly down the middle and spread it 10 inches. Um, also, having to move it forward to accommodate the radiator and the clearances that we needed uh, for everything to fit under the hood, I had to move the wheel openings back two inches. Um, incorporated the body side molding uh, to match the additions that we did do to the body. Uh, which the uh, whole back end of this was, uh, there was another 12 inches added to the body. Um, same thing going back to the back section, 
cut right down the center and spread 10 inches, including the deck lid. Um, the grill is, uh, is a custom grill that was built specifically for this machine. I've got an accumulated uh, 330 hours in fabricating this body and getting it to look uh, as good as it does. Uh, the quality of a golf cart body um, is not up to the standards in which we needed for this machine. Uh, so extensive work did go into it to get it to look as nice as it does. When we set the suspension up on this, I wanted it to have a certain look and I wanted it just to scream hot rod. So on the front we did some American racing rims, they're 17 by 7 torque thrusts. And on the back, we went to an 18 by 10 torque thrust with a deep dish to really give it that American hot rod look. It just looks like it belongs on a 57 Chevy. Then on the back, the tires are 275-35-18s and they're actually BF Goodrich drag radial TAs. They're a street legal DOT tire. So when you get them nice and hot and you do a little bit of a burnout, they get sticky. So uh, you can actually make this thing wheelie if you want to. Uh, we're not going to do that today. The, the new owner might not appreciate that. <laughs> but those wheelie bars are functional. And this roll bar Tony made right here, this is completely functional. This is all polished stainless steel, fabricated here, welded here. It actually bolts down through to the frame. Uh, God forbid if you do flip this thing and it gets ugly, this is actually going to work and hopefully keep you from getting crushed. So everything here works. Everything has a function. If you look at these really cool two and a half inch exhaust pipes down the side, Tony made those up. They are true polished stainless steel, uh, two and a half inch like I said, right up into the header, no muffler, no nothing. It just really, it sounds like a hot rod. So there's no mistaking what's, what's under the hood when you hear it. We went ahead and we built this for a very good friend of mine. He's also a very good customer. Uh, the owner of this, his name is Billy Graham, lives here in Florida. Billy's a real hot rod guy, he's a V8 guy. He's had a couple of V8 powered motorcycles, he's a Boss Oss guy. Uh, he's got a V8 powered, actually it's a, it's a V8 powered, I guess you'd call it a, uh, a bar stool. He's got a V8 powered bar stool that you can drive around on. So he's all about V8 power. And he wanted something completely over the top, completely different. And this is one of a kind. This is the only V8 powered golf cart we know of in the world. And we went as far as to try and almost make it street legal, where it has working headlights, working taillights, working directionals. It has its own little windshield wiper, it has a rear view mirror, it has seat belts. So basically it has everything it would need to be required to drive it on the street. And he's going to try and drive this on the street in the uh, area where he lives in Florida in his neighborhood. So I think he's going to either have some, some neighbors that think he's really cool or they're going to be really upset with him. We're going to find out how Billy makes out with that. It's got a full dashboard. Got all your necessary gauges. Let's get some, some big tunes in here because you need tunes when you're cruising on your golf cart. In case you're wondering where the battery is and where the gas tanks are and everything else, they're right back here. If you look here, you got two fuel cells. It's all plumbed with Russell fittings. There are two five gallon tanks. It's got a big interstate battery. That little tiny drive shaft right there. That hooks that turbo 350 tranny up to that big Ford 9 inch rear end. So this thing is bulletproof. You can see the three link suspension system. Everything's been painted or powder coated. So got your speakers here. These are marine speakers. So that they get wet, no big deal. So that's where we hit everything. But you can see we use the best of everything. Braided steel, Russell fittings, all AN fittings. It's got the best of everything. There was, a, there was no budget on this build. 